Well, you see, it's very nice to catch up with you again. I trust everything's going well in Finland, given uh, the COVID situation. Hi, hi, Rodney. Yes, uh, nice talking to you also. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it seems that uh, we are hit here in Finland uh, quite uh, severely uh, by the COVID uh, second wave. Well, kind of uh, not sure whether it's fortunately, but uh, not so severely as uh, as unfortunately some of our neighboring countries or some other countries uh, within Europe. But uh, so relatively speaking, we are doing uh, fine in Finland. Uh, but uh, of course, this uh, pandemic is still uh, pretty much a, a problem and challenge for all of us. Well, let's hope as spring comes along and as vaccines come out, things continue to improve. Exactly. So tell me, Yusi, um, as you talk with clients and future clients about the tax landscape in Finland, what are some of the things people talk to you the most about? Yeah, um, that's a that's a good question, uh, Rodney. Um, there are various uh, topics uh, that we we are discussing with the clients. Uh, of course. Uh, Many of uh, our multinational clients uh, who are also engaged in the U.S. business are interested about uh, Biden's administration and uh, what is going to happen to the taxation, uh, especially corporate taxation in the U.S. going forward, and and what is going to happen to uh, beat and uh, kill the provision. So so that is obviously a great interest to to those clients who have uh, big businesses in the U.S. Uh, other things that uh, we are dis discussing uh, uh, is uh, public country by country reporting uh, within EU that seems to be going forward. So even though uh, our clients are typically very responsible in their dealing with their tax matters, uh, there is a slight concern that uh, when a country by country information is being uh, published, uh, uh, it still requires interpretation and uh, one obvious point is that uh, it may not be so easy to understand that uh, what is your accounting tax charge and how much tax you are actually paying for during that period uh, may differ quite a lot depending which kind of uh, uh, different tax assets uh, and, and credits you have available. So, so Publicity and transparency is obviously good, but uh, uh, you typically also need explanations for the information available. So I can imagine, you see, that's going to, because it does, there has been a lot of mention in the press about public C by C in Europe. I can imagine that that's going to consume a lot of time at clients as they try and figure out how would they collect the necessary data how would they comply with those sorts of proposals? Um, yeah, in, 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 indeed. And, uh, and it also kind of relates to uh, the wider, uh, you know, tax footprint uh, uh, publishing uh, topic. Uh, companies, uh, I think nowadays, are, are eager to publish information on, on how responsible they are acting. But uh, the way especially older ERP systems for some companies are built up, makes it uh, makes it uh, a little bit difficult, uh, you know, to be able to report all the indirect taxes that uh, you are uh, paying all around the world. So there are that kind of challenges, but uh, I think the general development is pretty clear. Yeah, and that's actually probably a, a really good point. You see, uh, folks shouldn't leave this to the last minute to try and figure out if they can actually comply. They should start thinking about what their systems can actually produce already, just in case they need to uh, upgrade their ERPs. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah, and and then then one one also kind of a quite topical matter is uh, how tax authorities are interpreting uh, uh, mutual double tax treaties and, and transfer, transfer pricing uh, provisions and kind, guidelines. And uh, in that aspect, I think it has been uh, helpful for many multinationals that uh, OECD has been active in, in publishing their recommendations, how, how governments should deal with this topic and basically be 
kind of a more flexible and and understanding than than typically due to the pandemic uh, situation. Uh, one other very important topic from OECD's perspective, obviously, is uh, uh, taxation of digital economy and how the how the kind of uh, work uh, around pillar one and pillar two are going to go forward. And then that is something that uh, also, especially big multinational companies are really paying attention to. And I hate to put you on the spot, but if I was to ask you about some predictions for the near term, whether in terms of the Finnish tax landscape or more broadly, what what do you see coming down uh, towards us in the near future? Yeah, well, I think it is, again, uh, pretty much the same situation in Finland as uh, as many other economies and uh, jurisdictions that uh, now the governments are basically spending the buck and uh, trying to initiate the recovery. But uh, at some point of time in the uh, not so far away future, I'm sure that uh, the governments uh, need to start thinking about that, uh, how to pay down the existing debt and uh, how to finance uh, uh, all the all the kind of uh, growth initiatives. And at that point of time, um, unfortunately, I think that uh, in many jurisdictions, the focus will be on, on foreign companies uh, operating in those countries and and uh, that whether those countries, uh, uh, sorry, those companies are, are paying their fair share of the taxes to, to that particular country. And I think it's pretty understandable and, and can be expected that the same development will take place also also in Finland. Well, it is interesting because you sort of look at the direction of travel and it could well be that statutory corporate tax rates have hit their bottom. And just to your point, as governments try and figure out how to pay for all of the stimulus, maybe we're in a world where tax rates will start to rise going forward and folks should just be prepared for that. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. So um, I think... uh, I'm hoping, obviously, all the best for for all of our our clients. But uh, it could be so that uh, there are actually even more tax disputes uh, on the horizon and and uh, coming up going forward. So definitely, uh, it's important that uh, uh, the clients will have a, a kind of a trustworthy partners and advisors who can uh, then uh, advise them and support them on on those tricky roads. Well, you see, that's a great way to end our discussion tonight because uh, being prepared for the future, particularly with all the different changes that you highlighted coming down the pipe, that's just the place that people want to be. So, you see, thank you for your time this evening. It's just been great catching up with you. And as the vaccines roll out, I look forward to uh, visiting you again sometime in the near future. All right. Thank you, Rodney. Very nice uh, catching up with you and uh, you're certainly most welcome to Finland whenever possible.